five at home fixes for fatty liver conditions. I'm getting a lot of questions on these. 46% of Americans are struggling with it right now, let alone the number of people around the world dealing with a fatty liver. And sometimes this can be created by alcohol, but more commonly now the explosion of obesity, overweightness, and too much consumption and sugar hitting your liver is making it fatty. Why does this matter? It starts to back up fluid into the body. You can't deal with chemicals as well. And it's going to raise triglyceride levels and be very hard on your heart, which puts you at risk for the number one killer, heart disease. What can you do about this at home? Because chances are your doctor's not going to recommend very much of anything or even check for it if you have issues. And then what can you do about it on your own to help prevent any kind of long-term issues I'm gonna show you in this video. If you're curious with your doctor, to test for it, I would recommend getting AST and ALT liver enzymes tested. Easy way to tell is there damage being done in the liver. If there is a big concern of fatty liver, they may perform an ultrasound to find this. The problem is, is the typical doctor's solutions of drugs actually make the problem worse. So check this out. Number one for fixing a fatty liver at home is removing as many of the medications as you can. Now I'm not telling you to, to stop taking your drugs, but have you gone to a place like drugs.com and looked up the potential side effects that your medication or medications is causing? If you haven't, I highly, highly suggest you as a doctor, you've got to know what that's impacting. Almost every single one of them is going to impact your liver and create damage. The most common NSAIDs, that's aspirin, Motrin, ibuprofen, one of the hardest on the liver. Tylenol gets into that mix as well, not an NSAID, but it also is very hard in the liver. If you have known fatty liver disease problems, whether it's non-alcoholic, alcoholic or alcoholic, or you have high ASTs and ALTs, the number one thing to avoid at home are over-the-counter pain relievers. What can you do instead? Take something like an omega or a turmeric. Those are two of the most powerful anti-inflammatories and studies have shown they can reduce pain as well as one of those NSAIDs without damage to your liver. Number two, add in antioxidants. These can be very simple. The top two, vitamin E and vitamin C. The American Association for the Study of Liver Disease recommends that you take 800 IUs of vitamin E a day, especially if you know you've had fatty liver disease or you're diagnosed with it or high AST or ALT numbers. This is the mother of antioxidants. It is very powerful at making sure chemicals, free radicals don't do more damage to your liver itself. So we want that antioxidant. Vitamin C is another easy one. You can eat it from acerola cherries or strawberries, of course, oranges. I would avoid orange juice and some of the fruits. That's why I like the cherry forms a little better. Broccoli is a good form of it or just take it in a supplemental form to get the ascorbic acid in. Because a study in 2013 out of Japan showed that when you take vitamin C and vitamin E together, it is very beneficial for further damage of liver problems when it pertains to fatty liver disease. So add in the vitamin C. Now, a lot of vitamin C has to do with fruit, specifically fruit juices and sodas and other high fructose foods. Number three is to remove the fructose. Fructose is found in fruits. Now it's not that you can never have fruit again, but we drink a lot of fruit juices. We drink a lot of fructose and fruit-based things. Plus we drink a lot of high fructose corn syrup or it's in the foods that we're eating. The fructose explosion has created a almost direct correlation with fatty liver explosion. So it creates overweightness and obesity very quickly. But when fructose hits the liver, the body is so overburdened with so much extra sugar, it's got to figure out what to do with it. If you're not moving very much, which exercise actually, uh, helps fatty liver disease very much so. So I would add that into the regimen as a bonus. But so much energy is in the liver at that point. Your body doesn't know what to do with it. It's got to either burn it up. If you're not moving, it doesn't. If it has to store it, which it needs to store it as fat, and it can keep a little bit of it in the liver. But the liver's so bogged down, it turns some of that fat in the liver. The rest of it is shipped out as triglycerides in your body. So if you have a high triglyceride count, chances are your liver is struggling. Best way to counteract it you can lower the damage in your liver by over 40% in two weeks by going on a low carbohydrate, low sugar, specifically low fructose diet. Now that's gonna mean cutting out all forms of fruit except Granny Smith apples, grapefruits, or lemons and limes. Those would be approved because they're very low in fructose, but the rest of it's gotta go fruits as well as more importantly, high fructose corn syrup, sodas, carbohydrates, grains, breads, crackers. In two weeks, you can make a massive difference. Now to accelerate those 
those ex results, if you want to eat low carbohydrate, I recommend adding in rotational fasting. What that does is put your body into cleanup mode, specifically your liver, and you can hyper reverse fatty liver problems by incorporating it in. You're going to ease your body into lowering its consumption, less burden on the liver, especially if the only foods you're eating are lower carbohydrate and low sugars. And then you're going to go longer periods of time where the body is not being given raw material in the form of food. It's got to find its own. It's going to clean up your reserves. It's going to break down fats, especially in the liver, in order to build cells and keep your body fresh because you are burning 300 million cells every day. 300 million cells are dying, excuse me, every minute. 300 million new ones have to be made. Well, if you don't give it food to make those, the body's going to use its efficiency system and start using things like fat, especially in the liver. That's what's going to get burnt up first. So if you need help getting started with that type of fasting, I put a link in the video. Rotational fasting is a game changer, was for my physiology and so many tens of thousands of people that I've taught it to, but a lot of people don't know what it is. You can check that video out for that resource. So that technically is number four. When you pair the low carbohydrate with the fasting, number five, a simple add-on while you're going through and cutting down NSAID use, cut down alcohol use that should be going without said, but we got to cut that down as well. Adding in vitamin E and vitamin C for the antioxidants, lowering the carbohydrates and the sugars, incorporating in the fasting. Finally, drink yourself some lemon water. Lemon water? Really? Yes. That simple. You're going to juice a lemon every morning for breakfast. And I want you to help you to understand the power of how this can impact you. If you apply the above four that I talked about, and then you add in lemon water, you are going to significantly reduce at home your liver damage. Now, I did a whole video. It's extremely popular on one cup of that lemon water, how powerful it is, how to do it, how easy it is. I put it right here for you. Check that out as a next step to add on to the other four lifestyle changes here and become your own solution. You are the solution to your fatty liver problem. You just got to take some action here. You created it. You can undo it. I'll be here to help you to make health simple. Check out this lemon water recipe.